Guys, all the cars that you see in these videos are for sale on my website, www.woodsandbarclay.com. Enjoy the video. Hey everyone, we are over at Scott's shop today. We have the 85 300 CD, the signal red car, and he's going to work his magic on it. Let's go in here and see what he thinks about the car. What do you think about this one? I think it's red. <laughs> it is very red. Very red. Scott, you, uh, you've been doing this for a long time. Have you ever seen one of these in this color? No. It's extremely rare. It's, it's one year only, 1985, on the 123 chassis. I think I've seen one sedan that was this color, but I've never seen a coupe this color. Yeah, neither have I. It's just a perfect color combination with the interior and the, and the red on the body. All right, guys, we're over here at Scott's uh, shop, and you can see he has everything taped off. That means he's about to, uh, I think, wet sand and polish. And we'll talk to Scott here in a second. I can see, yeah, he's got the whole car uh Looks like covered with one coat right now. And you tape off all this so your buffing pad does not hit any of the trim. Uh, see, he even tapes off the cow grills. Uh, a lot of detailers do not do that, and it will mess up. If you hit that stuff with a buffer, it will mess it up. So let's uh, let's talk to Scott and see what he's doing here. Yeah, it's about, uh, it's not as hot as it was yesterday. Yesterday was like 100 degrees. Scott, will you explain to these guys what you're doing on this vehicle? It's a secret and I can't tell you. <laughs> okay, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, actually, I think he was being serious. <laughs> okay, Scott, Scott says it's a secret and he's not going to tell us. So is this wet sanding? Is this what you're doing here? Because I saw he's spraying water over it. Because here's the problem that I have. I have customers that come in here and they want to know what I'm doing. And then they buy the stuff and they try to do it themselves. Yeah, it's not that a, easy. They dig a hole for themselves. <laughs> and then they come and they yell at me. And I'm like, so it's, you know, one of those things. Yeah, guys, don't try this at home. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, I was explaining how you taped everything off so the this buffer is, doesn't. This is what most body shops do. Yeah, you do. I talked to the president of the U.S. Detailing Association, and I told her that this is what I was doing. And she goes, "That's not automotive detailing." She goes, "That's body shop." I said, "No, it's not body shop." Yeah, I mean, usually you do not see detailers doing this. I mean, what is, is this? The Trizac? Yes. So this is the 3M Trizac this process. Is one of the papers that I use. You start with a 3000. This is this is 3000, which is pretty much all that this one really needs it's basically just kind of a, a rough piece the, of cardboard the, pa the paper feels kind of rough but it's it's slick as is onion. it is this it right here it's as slick as onion skin okay yeah that, that almost feels like leather it feels like a yeah. piece of leather yeah and but, so you go over that I've, I've been sanding cars for i've been sanding cars for 25 years 30 years so i mean i have body shops that send the cars over to me to do them because they don't have time or their guy that usually does it isn't available. So if there were a lot of defects in the paint, if this was a full repainted car from a body shop, my job would be to smooth it out. Okay. And usually, if I'm doing that, I start with a thousand grit paper. But here we're dealing with a factory finish. Right. So, Original factory finishes yeah. were, they were pretty good, but not... They, they weren't as great as they are. I mean, nowadays there's all sorts of climate controlled environments and you know airtight painting areas and stuff like that back then no they didn't have all that germans germans were picky to yeah say, to say way was. way better than the u.s cars of the yes. day okay so you're gonna do a trizac and then you get into the the I polishing buffing, polishing and then you apply that secret sauce that makes uh, yeah, them so I smooth go, i go over the finish a couple of times with a couple of different compounds to basically get that super slick finish that you normally find on these things that's that the that's what i love guys when when you feel the paint when he's done it's like 
I don't know how to describe it. Like you throw a towel on it, and it just like slips off the it's hood. Like a Brazilian wax. It's like a Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's yeah, giving like this. That. This is the Brazilian wax package <laughs> over at Scott's detailing shop. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna let get Scott get back to work here. And uh, Scott, will you show them like how much pressure you're applying when you put this down? It's basically just the weight of the machine. Just the weight of the machine. And I'm just letting it ride slow. Yeah, go ahead and show them right there. Oh yeah, we were back here. Yeah, back here. I try to stay away from these areas here because you don't, if, if you leave yourself a bit of a gap, you're better off because it's that's a very hairy area. To you, can, you can burn through it. Well, you can cause issues. <laughs> Let's just put that right. Okay. It sounds better. <laughs> you can cause issues. We don't use the term burn in here. <laughs> So that's just water he's spraying on there, guys. Because um, that pad will build up a lot of friction, so you have to you have to moisten it. It does. It feels like a piece of leather. Bumping. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on your machine. You're letting, you should be letting the chemicals do the work for you. If you're putting a lot of pressure on it, you're going to have an issue. All right, guys, so I'm going to get out of Scott's way, let him finish this, and we're going to come back after the buffing and polishing uh, process and take a look at the vehicle. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, this is a couple hours later. Scott, what are we looking at here? Um, <laughs> a different form of Brazilian wax. Um, this side here has been, it's been pretty much buffed out. Ooh, nice. So it, it hasn't been, the finish hasn't been completely done on it yet, but. Yeah, that, uh, that looks nice. It's pretty deep now when you look at it. Yeah, I mean, guys, there is the, uh, let's get over here to, there we go. There's the ceiling of the shop. That's a pretty good reflection. Yeah, that looks beautiful, Scott. But I'm, I still have to go over this with a foam pad with a, with a nice polish to really bring the color up. But this, this car is going to look... It'll look really nice. You know, I, I was not a red car guy, but this is nice. This has kind of made me a red car this, guy. This is one of the nicest reds you're going to see. <laughs> yeah, signal red. The other one's orient red, but that was more like a maroon. Yeah, it's deeper. Yeah, it's much, much this, deeper. Is a, this is a cool color. So he's using a different tool now. Uh, this is a wool pad. And wool, wool pads are, are for heavy cutting. And Scott, is this single stage or base clear? Because I see red, or is that from another car? It's from another car. Okay, so this is, I don't know if it's base clear or not. It's base clear. It is base clear, okay. Okay, welcome back everyone. This is day three and Scott is finished with the 85 Signal Red Coupe. Let's go here and check it out. Scott, how did it come out? Red. <laughs> red. Um, really so, red. Scott has actually removed all the emblems and buffed and polished under all the emblems. I can see he's actually cleaning the chrome door jams over there now. But, uh, guys, this, this has made me a red car guy. Look at that. Man, this paint came out amazing. Uh, it'll look even better out in the sun. Well, yeah, we're, we're not out in the sun, you guys. Just wait till you see the walk around video. I've got a customer that just pulled up. I gotta take care of him. 
All right, guys, so that's it. Scott has worked his magic on this beautiful Signal Red 85-300CD. All the anodized aluminum trim just cleaned up so nice on this vehicle. I mean, that, that's basically how it would look from the factory when it was new. It is in such outstanding condition. All the black molding and trim. Scott's cleaned all, all of this. Just absolutely fantastic. And here he was just polishing the, uh, yeah, the chrome covers on the ends of the door jams. This just looks fantastic. Beautiful condition. Wow, look at that paint. Remarkable. I'm going to go ahead and move it back into my bay. There's a couple of items I want to finish up on it. But uh, stay tuned. This one will be for sale soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.